Yes, Lord Gaussian. Confused here. Because he hangs up over there. Hey, it's the mystery merchant. Oh, I went I talked to the wrong person. Buy sell. Sell information. Yeah. So there's three levels of um, of discoveries, and it's all uh, and how much you get paid for it. The first one is you found what? I must let the whole world know, which is you found it really quickly. Then there's one where it's yes, I've heard rumors of its existence. Um, here I'll pay you such and such. Uh, Tokyo Rock. So, so far everything is done. And then the last one is, um, yes, someone's already reported that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and that's actually now colored in. This one's still not, because I haven't beaten them yet. And the mystery merchant, which is this guy. This guy will eventually sell the most overpowered sword ever. But the requirements to get a, him to do that is ridiculously high. Okay, I'm going to keep my 8,000 for now. Because the mystery merchant doesn't go away ever. And admittedly, no merchant stuff goes away ever, but... Uh, whereabouts is it? Is it over here? Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. There's some fish. Yeah, the moonfish give you a lot of really good items. Like, really early on. I, I don't think when they were remaking this that they really thought, um, thought it through. No, nothing down here. And up we go, into the city of Maramba. Alright, so this is the weapon shop. One of the very few unique um, weapons merchants. And as your cutlass. And she'll get that. Nazarian male. And she'll get that. Nope. And nope. Alright, so that's the best that I can do right now. trying to remember where to get everything. Nothing's in there.
Oh, there it is. See, I gotta be on this. Okay, well. That's everything I can get from here. So. Thankfully, this thing doesn't cost money. Why did I... There's nothing here. I guess that's just to show that you can do that. It's called a Dabu penguin. Yeah, so it's a it's a Dabu and uh, it's but ugly. That's what it is. So there's sham around here as well. Oh, turn around. Yeah, but it's one of the few things that can actually survive wandering around and living in the sand, apparently. Nazir Combat Mail. Uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'll drop eight, gain five and five, and drop three. So I'll lose 11 total gain 10 back, but I get a little bit more attack and a little bit more magic defense. Yeah. I don't think she can... yeah, she can't do it either. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay, gotta go back up. I actually got to jump off because I missed a building completely without realizing it. Yeah. Thank you. Little Jelder. Alright. So I need to go back to get a sham. Because when I get the sham, Keeple can level up. Or at least be on his way to level up. And Cupid was by far the hardest thing to actually get to a, be strong until like, the very late levels. Complete um, special way of uh, leveling him up, so he gets uh, progressively like he has this weird transformation cycle to the point where when you use it just right, you can um, get really good weapons. But if you do it wrong, you'll get really bad weapons from him. It's really weird. Oh, really? I gotta talk to this guy again? Yeah, I'll take a, another Dabu. I'll take the same Dabu. So glad it doesn't cost money. <laughs> 
forced to stay on the same path. I can't just go wandering off into the desert with it. Oh well, not a big deal. And I get 300 gold because someone would was stupid enough just to leave it lying in there on the roof. Alright, let's get down from this thing. Uh, well, I mean, to be honest, it's a main mode of transportation, so it would honestly make more sense for that guy to say, yes, you have to rent this from me. And, uh, yeah, it's good, but honestly, I would have preferred not to have to, I would have preferred to have a little bit more control over it. So if I remember correctly, So at least I get that one treasure chest right there. Which gives me an excavation arm for the guy who frickin' just ditched me. Okay. That opens that up. Wait. So if I do that, and I can get this one, and I get a gem of fluidity. Let's turn around. Now I need to get over there. And I've gotten all the treasures down there. That puzzle actually wasn't a lot. It wasn't that hard compared to what I remember it being. Oh, I got a moonberry. This is always good. camera. Stop fighting me, please. Alright, and time to, I guess, continue the story. Well, not right now. Is there something in here? No, it's just the fortune teller. Alright. The Lena's Dancing is Maramba, Maramba's newest star attraction. You definitely don't want to leave without seeing her. Let's just go walk up and talk to the dancer. Well, hello, handsome. I don't think I've seen you around here before. If you've come to rest your weary feet, you've come to the right place. Make yourself comfortable and stay a while. Sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since we've uh, had time to relax. Please stay. Stay as long as you like. Sit down, sit down. Oh, in this ear. I guess they just sit on the ground. Yeah, feels good to finally sit down. 
Well, we shouldn't rest too long. We gotta look for a ship. I wonder where we can find one. Maybe we should try the docks. I can't believe Captain Drachma just left us here. I'm sure he had his reasons to leave, but I wish he had said something sooner. He didn't have to leave us here in the desert, right, Vice? Vice? <laughs> that face. Like, complete jealous girlfriend, even though she's not his girlfriend. Vice, have you heard a single word I've said? Um, yeah, I'm listening. You were talking about the desert. You're acting like you've never seen a girl before. If you could pry your eyes away from that dancer for a few seconds... Okay, okay. It was just that she's such a good dancer. I didn't want to insult her by, uh... Looking away. New lands, new customs, you know. What kind of excuse is that? You're undressing her with her eyes. Not that it would take that long. You weren't zooming in, were you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But seriously, I don't think she's looked over here more than just a few times. I think she likes me. Yeah, right. Fina, will you try and talk some sense into him? Do you really find it not that hard to believe? Well, Vice is very attractive. I don't think it would be strange at all if that dancer was looking at him. Ha, uh, you're kidding, right? Vice wouldn't want someone like her. I mean, knew, who knows where she's been? Uh, right behind you. Oh, um, I, so, um, do you travel a lot? Tell me something. You wouldn't happen to be, to be the group of air pirates that escaped from the Grand Fortress now, would you? Huh? How do you know about that? Well, if you hang out in places like this, you hear all kinds of things. Rumors, local gossip, news about other lands... The Jiggle Physics. You even hear stories about air pirates needing a ship. If you want, I can give you a lift. What do you say? Really? Thanks, that'll help us out a lot. Wait a second. Why would you help us? You don't even know who we are. Let's just say that anyone who escapes from the Blue and Grand Fortress interests me. My name is Belena. I'll be making preparations. Meet you at the port first thing in the morning. See you around, handsome. Oh, there's the way. Alright, so... I should probably be able to get through the next temple before the end of the stream. Yeah, huge chance on the dancer, but, um, you know, this game was made, uh, I think we figured it out, like, back in 2000 initially, and then this is a port of that, so... You know, graphics weren't the greatest, as you can kind of tell. I do wish they would remake this game, though. If they remade this game, I would definitely do another playthrough and do it the same... Uh, challenge run that I'm doing right now. Welcome! Oh yes, Belena mentioned you'd be coming. Your room is ready. Stay of the night! Ha! <laughs> Ever since Belena started dancing in Moamba, 
More and more tourists have been coming and business has increased threefold. Since you are a friend of Belenis, I will give you a special rate on your room. Sleep well. Hooray! The special rate of four times what it would normally cost. Yes, I would agree. Like, this honestly would be like... This is my all-time favorite game. Like, hands-down favorite game. Nothing even comes close to this game. In my eyes. The story, the mechanics and everything are literally just have all the right pieces where they need it. If they updated the graphics and added maybe like a minor like cosmetic customization system so they didn't touch the core mechanics of anything I think this would be a really good game. Hmm. Should I have left those kids there? Bah, what am I worrying about? Someone else will take care of them. Mm hmm? Oh, look. It's a red metal ship. Well, we only know of one, com uh, one country that uses metal ships. Wait, that ship. It looks like. Oh, man. Farewell, I made the red moon forever light your path. All right, let's go to the Temple of Pyrine, or Pyrin. I trust that you slept well last night. Uh -huh. It was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time, so I guess we should get ready and start exploring the desert. Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size. It's the same we have here in Nazir. It's too, dif di eh, it's too difficult to cross the desert on foot because of the heat. A mere half-day walk can be deadly. We'll need a ship to cross it. A ship, huh? Is this one yours? Ah, yes, it's not much, but it's very reliable. Hmm. Um, Bellina, why are you going out of your way to give us a ride? You don't even know us. Well. You aren't very grateful, are you? If you were dying of thirst and someone offered you water, you'd probably ask where it came from first. All right. If you must know, I'll tell you. My father was a soldier. He was a poor man, but sometimes a little short-tempered, but he was a good man, and a good father. We struggled to get by, and my father was barely able to support us. We had nothing to rely on but each other, but we were happy. Until that day twenty years ago. Twenty years ago, the Lua and Nazir declared war on each other, and my, my father was killed in battle. When he died, we had nothing. No food, nobody to support us, nobody to raise us. We had to live on the streets. Some say you can't die from a broken heart, but they're wrong. My mother died shortly after my father. She was so sad. I was alone and scared, and I had to fend for myself on the streets. And that is how I ended up living like this. Oh, Bellida, we are so sorry. We had no idea. Ever since then, I've hated war. Hundreds of people die. Hundreds more families have to go through, uh, through what I went through. And that is why I am letting you know I want you to use my ship. Please. We'll do it. Uh, 
Thank you. Oh, so much. Bell and I, I, I'm so sorry for what I said earlier. I shouldn't have spoken to you that way. I lost my parents when I was young, too. I know what you went through. <laughs> eh, that's quite all right. As long as you understand and don't take my generosity for granted. All right, everyone, get on board. The Temple of Pyron lies far to the east in the middle of the desert. Let's go. So she already knows where it is. That's